channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. And before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor. Don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey. And welcome to week 186, I believe. Yeah, I'll put it, if it's 186 or 187, I don't have the correct uh, week and in, in timeline, but I believe it's 186. Well, we had another non-scale victory this week. We didn't lose any weight, but we didn't gain any weight either. So I would consider that a non-scale victory. And uh, my clothes are still fitting really good. And uh, I did a lot, a lot of walking this week for activity. There was only like one day I didn't really go walking. Uh, there was one day too, I, I went walking like three and a half miles uh, on Tuesday, I believe. And uh, when I got up to the three mile marker on my, my feet started feeling really rubbery because I'm trying to get some more strength built up into that hip area. And uh, Friday, I did three miles of walking Friday between the charity and the early morning walk. I did a mile and a half walk in the morning. And so we had, had two good days of walking. We did three miles or more. And uh, yeah, yeah. And then another day I was gonna go walking outside, but it was like a 50 mile an hour wind gust. The temperature was 30 and it brought the temperature down to about 10 degrees and it was just too cold and windy. It was almost blowing me over. So I did a little bit of like a mall walking that day. And I saw about a hundred people walking in the mall. I, it was just too many people for me in the mall walking. And it's so boring just walking around in a circle. I prefer the outdoors and the uh, fresh air and uh, taking scenery photographs as I'm going. I'm, I'm, at some point when it starts warming up a little bit, I'm gonna be going in different places. I'm gonna to try to break outside of the city and just, you know, head out early in the morning and just go and do some light walking here and there. And take, you know, different photographs of different things that interest me. And you, you guys might like to see some of my walking photographs, you know, I have some by the timeline this week. And I ended up going to Barrett Park the other day and I ran into the Canadian geese again and because they're back now and you got that, uh, they're the nasty droppings that they do all over the ground. You gotta be careful when you're walking. Now the April's coming rolling around pretty quick there. I'm gonna be getting my fishing license again and I'm gonna have to get another rod and reel and some uh, light fishing gear because I do want to go fishing again. Now on the drop front, I've been looking for a job as most of you guys and gals know. I went over to Hannifers, two different Hannifers this week as a matter of fact. One, one with the, uh, the last one I went to, they were currently in a somewhat hiring freeze and they've been cutting back on a lot of hours, everybody, and uh, they've been pulling people from other Hannifers to fill in the positions. So then I went to the other hand of his yesterday and I finally made contact with the um, hiring manager and she said she was gonna take a look at my application and consider me for another position over there. It's basically the same job I was doing before because they are looking for pickers, you know, and I don't need any training. I already know how to do the job, but that would be a win-win situation for her and me. But I told her I just need to work, them out, work around my wife's appointments and they're okay with that. Then I, I'd be eligible for hire, but if, if nothing happens for me in those two places, I'll continue looking and I'll find something that'll be a right fit for me. And uh, so Donna went to Bingham on Friday night. She only won 25, but I don't know, people were screwing up all night last like, Friday night because I noticed there was at least six people that could have had the game by themselves and they ended up splitting because they missed the number. In fact, I wanted to make right off. She, she would have won $3,000 and she wasn't paying attention. She, she got like three numbers too late. So if you're gonna play Beagle, guys, play, Pay attention to your numbers. When I get down to two or three, I'm always checking and I'm always asking my wife or whoever might be sitting in front of me, was that number called? Was that number called? Because I don't want to miss any bingo. You know, you spend too much money playing bingo and too much money. If, if you, you know, why would you give up uh, $2,700 and you could have had that by, and she would have had it by herself. So on Friday, they're doing something different now too on the, the progressive games that now, uh, if you have 188 people or more, on one game, they're paying up uh, $30 to the right or to the left, and then the other one, they're paying out $40 to the right or the left on the other cover wall. So, you know, but it, you know, it just gives everybody a good chance to win money. You know, she had a good crowd. She had 209 people on Friday night. And uh, of course, this week coming up, there's no bingo on Friday because it's a good Friday because it's a parish. We may wind up going to New Hampshire with a friend Jackie, we don't know yet. And of course, we got Good Friday coming up this coming Friday and Easter. So happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. I usually get a holiday ham and, uh, you know, I splurge a little bit that day with white potato and I don't have a problem with it and uh, corn and stuff like that. But it's only one day and then I'm right back on keto and low carb afterwards. But that's how I've been pretty successful over the course of my journey. I, I've lost, so 
At one point, I was down 155 pounds, pretty close to that. And, you know, I'm still over 100 pounds, so I, I, I still feel really, you know, great. If I don't lose any more weight, I'm fine with my weight being where it is. You know, I still, I still at some point, I want to try to get my weight down to 200, but I'm not going to worry about it anymore. You know, it is what it is. Uh, everything's so sticking expensive on the economy front there, you know, and I, you know, and I, with the new car payment right now, yet I'm being sacked, uh, socked with uh, almost a $900 bill next month because of my excise tax. Yeah, we pay excise tax in Massachusetts, and uh, it's very expensive to own a new car, you know. I'm realizing some mistakes I made with the car, and, if, you know, at some point it becomes too much for Donna and I, I'm just going to go drop it off at the dealership and tell me if you own it. But, uh, you know, I'm going to do the best I can in the meantime to keep up with the payment, keep up with the uh, whatever needs to get uh, for maintenance on it, and all that stuff there that comes with the uh, lease of the car, you know, and it's the difference between leasing the car and owning the car, you know, you know, you at least when you own a car, if it becomes too much on payment for you, you can always refinance in it, you know, and after you make a certain amount of payments on it, you can't do that with a lease car, you know, and, uh, but anyways, you know, you live and you learn, right guys, just like with the weight loss and everything like that, and, uh, yeah, so what do we got going on at Ron's Keto Cafe this coming week? Well, we're planning on making a lot of recipes this week. Uh, some a lot of keto recipes. I did make the uh, chicken strip recipe from Joe and Rachel and Two Crazy Ketos. That came out really fantastic. I do want to make a chicken palm. And uh, if you're watching this video, uh, chances are you are. Um, we, we made some of those cheese it crackers from Keto Focus. And uh, yeah, so I got all that going on. Other than that, not too much else going on. We got a Don has got an appointment Monday, and I, I, I don't have any more appointments, so I meet up with my new doctor next month, and hopefully it'll be it for me for appointments for doctors, because I don't want any more doctor's appointments this year, but I can avoid it. And uh, the hip is fantastic. I'm feeling really, really great. i sleeping really awesome with the new hip and everything. I, I when I got home from Bingham last night. My back was a little bit sore, but other than that, I'm good to go. So if you live locally, if you know anybody hiring, I'm going to be a good employee. You know, I'm looking for about 20 hours a week. Um, yeah, I thought about delivering pizza and that sort of thing, but I don't know if that'd be right for me. But who knows down the road. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have an amazing week. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. And again, if you're Catholic and uh, if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. And uh, hope you have a safe holiday and I hope you have a good week. And uh, we'll talk to you later and be watching for some recipes and some motivation videos coming up this coming week. Have a great day, and again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and have an amazing week. Thank you, guys.